Professor Felix here. I wanted to talk to you about my cigars, uh, specifically the ones that I called wooden smokes. I uh, created a routine a few years ago that I wanted to perform on stage, and uh, it was for that routine that I wanted some cigars. And I thought about getting the real thing. Then I thought, well, this may not be the last time I perform this routine. Uh, so I sought uh, some convincing fakes, some convincing prop cigars, and I became aware of Mr. John Rogers, who was creating cigars for the magic community. And uh, I discovered that they were no longer available. In fact, Mr. Rogers closed his website in 2016, stopped production on the cigars, and uh, they they were virtually sold out. Uh, I know a few magicians who owned one or two. In fact, I saw them in person, uh, but uh, they were gone. So I was left with uh, some rather non-convincing fakes or remembering, uh, silly me, I make stuff. So I made some. Uh, I just made them for this routine. And uh, frankly, it wasn't even that spectacular a reason. I'll tell you, um, as a magician, uh, there are a couple of ways to to tell an audience that a box is empty without saying any such thing, which is a bad idea. Don't ever do that. Uh, don't tell them that it's empty. Uh, instead, what you can do is show them that it's an empty box, or you can simply empty the box. That's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to empty the box. So I wanted to take what logically would go in this box, take cigars out, uh, and empty the box, close the lid, and begin the routine. I'm not going to show you the routine. I'll show you that another time. But uh, <clears throat> the cigars were the big convincer. And uh, these are the first two that I made. I generally used this box with at least three, if not five or so. Uh, and uh, it was certainly wasn't an unnatural movement to remove these from the box, give them a sniff, and, and put them in my breast pocket uh, of, of my, my jacket. These are, uh, like I said, the first, first couple I made, they are simply wooden sculptures. I carved them from a, a block of wood. They are wood and paint and a little bit of card for the, uh, for the band, and that's it. In fact, uh, this is a blank of, of one of these. This is uh, just an unpainted version of this. Uh, it is solid block of wood. I did take it farther for some MC work. I discovered that uh, it was quite natural as a character t for me to hold one of these objects and uh, to have a cigar on stage and that kind of thing. And so I favored my own sculptures and I took things a bit farther and created uh, some lighted ones. These, uh, these look like they're burning, they're rather deceptive. Uh, this again is just a sculpture and paint. I uh, showed them to a magician once who was convinced I had them wrapped in a tobacco leaf. No, uh, it's, it's just paint. The lighted part, uh, I, I don't know how well you can see this, but I will show you some close-ups here. Uh, this is fluorescent paint, and it's true fluorescence. So on stage, I often have uh, them kick on a, a black light, which really adds to that effect. Uh, and, and they're quite lovely, quite durable too. Uh, they are, again, just a solid block of wood through and through, end to end, just wood. Uh, there are, in these lighted ones, uh, some semi-delicate parts. I'd suggest being careful with that. Uh, the newest ones that I created, I'll show you some pictures of those right now. Uh, these are a little more realistic in uh, in their sculpts. So on the lighted end, especially the ash end, I uh, paid uh, extra attention to realism because I know the collector who commissioned these, uh, while he will likely perform with them, uh, he's, he's also going to be rather delicate. So uh, um, he, he won't must them up, I suppose. I offer a guarantee, so if uh, if any time uh, you, you ship them or, or there's any problems uh, cosmetically, you cover the shipping, get it back to me, I will fix it. Uh, I will I will repair it to the best of my ability and get it straight back out to you. Um, there are options in terms, you know, as these are customizable, the ones that you've just seen are Cuban sized. These are not that sized. Uh, the ones that you've just seen are the size of, uh, oh, I don't know, they're, they're Cuban. They're a little darker too, so I match the, the, the color of the wrapper tobacco, which is just paint. I match that to uh, Cohiba, 
and uh, they're a little stouter, a little shorter uh, than than this model here. But anything is possible, really. Uh, there, you can get very technical, and we can do a straight cut, punch cut, V cut. Uh, these are all possible, uh, and that's that's for people who know quite a bit about cigars. Um, the label is totally customizable. This is the label that I generally put on these, uh, and these are just the blocks of wood. I've included a, a playing card prediction uh, just for kicks. It certainly has my name on it, uh, but we can add anything. In fact, I just recently created a, another customized cigar band uh, for a friend out east. Um, all of that said, if you're a juggler and, you're, and drops happen, uh, you're going to put these through some abuse. Let me know, and we can create a different design that uh, has the same aesthetic, the same, uh, same level of realism in, uh, to to a large degree. But I will do things to make sure that there are no delicate parts and, and we can minimize any of the, the potential damage that might happen. I might even add a uh, protective coating, which uh, we will finish so that it doesn't gloss up like just this, this special effect that I've done here. Uh, I'll make it look just like that, but we'll add some durability uh, if it is a juggling prop. Get a hold of me any old time, ask me questions about these things. Uh, uh, they are completely customizable, as I mentioned, and if you reach me and ask me questions about it, I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can, and you are under no obligation to send me any money or anything until we uh, get started on your cigar. Thank you very much.